Mchani ni hule wa akapulida Ababaka wade wabade tufunye jo Okutisiwa Okufa ewa kakia chifui Na embe wa za Abageze masa ni mtuwe mikono Echo kubidi Tulikuludo mtufu Uremi afayo President agambi Chikwanga jiwe dewo Obe uguzi Na yemwe ababaka abata Tikiriza kutisiwa tisiwa Mwe vale nyo kubanga tuliba antumakulu Tulonde wawa no kujo kuchiki Lila abantuwa tulonda Nolwecho mubere no mugongo Ababaka mweleme kutitira Kubanga tufunyo mkisa nefisinka na wano government chief whip Kono mohamu sono buwa Ndei ni ntumubuza directive ya jijewa e imiliza ababaka Njaka lukwate geza mwenye ababaka pa parami Lukwate geza wa na Uganda Uti enare mtekizi kanyanga tutugende tuye uzi Tule raba keli uzi nenda Abachikola, abachikola kuluwa wenga abandu Atene mbebaza Obuta gwonde na chegido chafu Kone lebo hamu soto kuwa na mpana wa parami Abada alimba Atugulide, ania mugandi ya kumeku mabaka wa parami Kumede mkisa ininga Ania gandi hono wa hamusoni Ategeza wa baka Kutimu imizo kusa ininga Tumuuzi za wano Obuiza ya hujewa Tamulaba Amani waga jie waga imiza parami Tagalaba Atenga inampala wa government Yandi wa date kwa ukokasi yetu ule Neye kwesi Katika waga tumuuzi Hono wa hamusoni kuwa O imiride wa msoga zobu kemi Ania kutunye O imiza wa baka Oli na chiche chicho, choi sawo Oli sawo, chia choi na Bolawa, ababaka, abamali, abamanyikuwa Abogela, nene nje, neziku nkumuka Baliru kida wako nsonge eno Ababaka, abaku nkumula nene nje Baliru kida wako nsonge eno Bekwesi Basi nisi Neete, tutia kuhimiliza kugena maso na utalono Atecho mkiseo mungu jikisinga yele speaker Speaker ne tumugumia nchino vinobyo nevigena maso Sibi vyo Fwe tunonye ama fwe ba komisiona za habana Na ye elio vanga neto nia Aba waka Omubili guaga la neomu ye munafu Omubili guaga la neomu ye munafu Omubili guaga la neomu ye munafu Abogela ulijua nungaba kuseda wa corruption bali hudawa Tuba dene report ya zama ni wanezite estere duwa e guanga kumunkeki Ni haba zi wandi kaba honi lomu mpaka bali hudawa mu report yu Nga wano tibazi zi Ama wate kwa wanyi so mkenu zi bali hudawa Bakulita haba ama yu Katuba sabe Futu izo kubanga vituko zesi vitufu Boba jiva kule vitufu Bwetuwa mmosho ni ya fenga muli mwa bubula mungu Baje wa mtelezi Ndeye kusonge no Kwa hii miridewa Kusonga zobu kenuzi Mugwanga limu Tue yanze tue yanze ege Tusaze wo kuma wa update Kwa tuti Oluwa lina baba kama sainiga Na yama kama tutegeze za Mchibonati wa inza kujia kupala meti Atini badayo Bage na kujia lumunga pala meti Kukula wo Ngina kuzomwe si mukagu Tusaze uo ni bana fene tuonge zaayo okufumye mikono jino Okutu sakuro okutano Kwanga waka bali wajia kubanga baze Baze mu state of nation address Katisi wajia kuwa wajia kwe kwa sacho na Tumazo baze ni kambi tundu ya fege tuwa Nemu maniaga hawe Tujia bifu ni ya kuna kuro okutano Aba waka tutu dewa no Emikono mirunji Neba chijambi ya baba dewa teke so kujibwa Mukama acha sasa si detu charge kwa sebulu ni tewe tewe kujibwa, imikono jamu jiri imikono mirungi, tuja juu kuomba, oktu sanga motion yezi, tule mepuga na kute sa kuburia ke, tule mepuga na kute sa kubuke nzi, hicho hicho kuru chone wa wakole na soga zino ya parliament, amani na soga zino yako asabu na baje mu parliament, kugasimba gani fulia parliament, mukama ba kumi mwe ba dunia. Members of the press, we are happy we are coming to the end of our business today, but we end it 
on a high note. Members of parliament have come beyond the average we've been having. Because today, it is the first day we are sitting here in spite of the efforts to fail and stop this process. We want to thank you members who have come and appended your signatures on this motion. The motion is to call for transparency and accountability. And we are here to move against our colleagues, the backbenchers, who partook and shared the one billion and 700 million shillings. That is Honorable Afoyochan Esther, Honorable Matthias Mpuga, the Honorable Sirwani Solomon, and Honorable Prosi Akampurira. This is the effort we are on. But today, we have had more support because of the, of, of the availability of members of parliament. And this comes at a good opportunity when the president has set the tone that as a country, we have lost it to corruption. This is the time for members of parliament to play our humble duty. Let us start with ourselves. And this is the necessity of this motion. Number two, we've had an interaction with the right honorable speaker of parliament and we are continuing to emphasize it that our motion is a follow-up to the audit trail of 1.7 billion. The speaker is not seen anywhere taking part of this money. And therefore, for us, we are going for those of ours. And even then, our procedure we adopted is about those who took and shared the 1.7 billion. Number three, We've had an opportunity to interact with the government chief whip, Honorable Hamson Oboa. And we've had a good and productive meeting in that we've asked him who gave him the directive to stop the NRM members of parliament. And number, he was saying that we started with gear number two. And yet, he is the government chief whip who ought to have convened the caucus in the first place. But we have since established that that directive was misplaced. Members of parliament and the NRM members, we applaud you, we salute you, who have continued ahead. I must tell viewers and members of parliament, this is not how the president directs. This is not how the president acts. Honorable Hamson Obua will be asked to declare his interest in this matter. Why he is trying to block debate? At this stage, we are talking about debate. Why is Honorable Hamson Obua trying to block members of parliament from performing their duties? We are not children who are elected by the people to come and stand for the principles we stand for. Therefore, we shall not be diverted. Honorable Hamson Obua will not divert us. And finally, members of parliament are accountable to the people who voted them here. We cannot give this opportunity to inquire about corruption. Corruption is killing the country. We cannot stop in that quest. And lastly, I'm calling on all the senior members. Members who have been known, who have cut their teeth in the fight against corruption. This is the time. You can't fight corruption in the canteen. You can't fight corruption in the washrooms. But when your moment of calling comes like this, you hide. And therefore, we are happy that we have come this far. And the number of MPs who have signed is a good example. And lastly, for members of parliament who have been calling us, they've been telling us that they can't incur double transport to come and go back to their constituencies. But they are coming for the State of Nation address, which is, which is the opening of Parliament on the 6th. This is Thursday. So we have agreed with colleagues. Today, we remain receiving signatures. 
Tomorrow we shall receive signatures to the State of Nation address. Friday, come rain, come shine, you will have no any other excuse to say you did not come. Members are mandated to come for the State of Nation address and we are putting notice that signature gathering is ending on Friday. Friday afternoon, all of us, the sponsors of the motion, people who sat together and we said no, not corruption, we shall have a very press briefing down, down in the conference hall A at 4 p.m. To display the list, we are organizing the list of members. At that time is when we are closing and informing the country. And then we go to, to finalize on our motion. The evidence required shall all be tabled, and then we see how to move to the next stage. But for so far, so good. We thank you, members. Continue doing the right thing. I've seen it before. Someone can come to confuse parliament that the party position is this. I challenge the government chief whip to table in writing the directive he got from the president or from anybody. The president is not part of this. He should leave us alone. Let's do our part. Members, don't be shy. Let's do our part and we conclude this business. We have to start with our own. The struggle begins with where you are. I thank you so much. Thank you.